whoa, grind until I get a meal. All I want is dollar bills, stack it higher than some hills. Messing with my cake, probably get you killed. What's going on, y'all? It's Mike. I'm back here with another video. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to. Oh, man. What if you were swallowed by a hippo? Pause. I've never been swallowed by one, so I wouldn't know. So we're going to find out what happens if you do. But um, before we do, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Share with your friends if you have any. Click that bell so you're notified when I drop a new video. Check out all my other videos. Let's get this video no cap. All right, y'all. <clears throat> for all my hungry, hungry hippo fans out there, this one's for y'all, man. This one's strictly for y'all. So, you a hungry, hungry hippo fan? Go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to the Stewart family, bro. But let's not waste no more time. Let's get it. Let's go. Hippos are large, loud, and dangerous. They kill 500 people a year in Africa, and their attacks are vicious. Really? So if you're around one, keep your guard up, and don't be fooled by its big, cute face. Well, look at this little son. <laughs> that hippo might be hungry. But do hippos eat meat? What warning sign should you watch for? And could a hippo fit your whole body in its mouth? This is what if, and here's what would happen if you were swallowed by a hippo. These water-loving creatures can grow up to five meters long, and they weigh up to 4,500 kilograms. It takes a lot of energy to carry all that mass around, so these hungry hippos have to eat 35 kil- They gotta eat 30, 80 pounds of food every night? Yo, they out here getting thick and living their best life, bro. Hippos really, <laughs> they really living their best 80 pounds of food? Can you imagine eating 80 pounds of food? That's crazy. That's a every day? Every night. Luckily, they're herbivores, for the most part. There have been reports of hippos eating carrion, but they're rare. Humans are definitely not in their diet. But that doesn't mean you can relax around hippos. They're incredibly aggressive, and there's one warning sign that you should never ignore. If you see a hippo open its mouth in a yawn or a laugh, you're in trouble. This is a sign that it's going to attack. You think I'm going to tell you to run? Sorry, but hippos can charge at up to 30 kilometers per hour. And sometimes there's no warning at all. Hippos will often glide underneath a small boat, flipping it and throwing its passengers into the water. Once you're in the water, your chances of surviving are slim. But could a hippo swallow you whole? While they are big animals, a hippo wouldn't be able to consume you in one bite. Instead, you'd feel intense pressure as the hippo begins to crush your arms or legs with its teeth. You punch the hippo right in the nose and it loosens its grip on your body. But although you manage to break free, you're in bad shape. There are huge holes in your side from its tusks. Parts of your body are unrecognizable and Ooh. you're missing an arm. Yeah, that arm is still in the hippo's mouth. Now, while you're being rushed to the nearest Man. hospital, so. what happens to your missing limb? Yeah, what happens? Hippos have a unique digestive system. They have three stomach chambers, and they use a method called foregut fermentation. They got three stomachs? No, no, no freaking wonder they're able to eat 80 pounds of food. Like, they got three stomachs. Which I had three Hippo's stomachs. stomachs. break down food early in the digestion process. Right, right, right. It's a symbiotic relationship that allows hippos to get the most nutrients out of tough grasses. 
So after your arm travels down the hippo's throat and goes into the first chamber of its stomach, microbacteria would begin to break down your arm. Then your arm would pass on to the true stomach. This is where digestive enzymes would continue to break it down. Later, the hippo would fling remnants of your arm and some grass over the beast's territory. Hippos can spread their feces up to 10 meters around them. This plays an important role in the rivers and lakes of Africa. By eating and excreting grass, hippos add silicon into Africa's water systems. And that's good because unicellular algae need silicon to thrive. The algae produce oxygen, and it's a key part of the food web. Hippos are extremely territorial, and they're obsessive about protecting their young. So while baby hippos sure are cute, you should always steer clear of them. Most attacks happen because mother hippos see humans as a threat to their offspring. And hippos aren't the only animal you'll have to worry about in Africa. The Nile crocodile is another aggressive beast, and it attacks over 300 people every year. But that's a story for another. It's... See, you see that? What, what that guy just tried to do? Put his hand in his whole mouth? I wouldn't. Mm -mm. See, people be testing animals. These are wild animals, man. They gotta eat just like you gotta eat. And man. I'm not. First of all, I'm not messing with no uh, crocodile. Second of all, I didn't know hip hop, hip, hip, hip hops, hippos were kind of low key dangerous. Like I didn't know that. I thought they were just you know big and like big. Like I just thought they were just big. Like I didn't know. Like that's crazy. I'm just glad they can't swallow you whole. That's that's my main thing. So. I mean, hey, if you didn't know about hippos, <laughs> you do now. <laughs> but um, if you enjoyed this episode of What If You Were Swallowed By a Hippo, <laughs> go ahead and like this video. Comment down below what you want to see me react to. If you want to see me react to being swallowed by a crocodile, comment down, down below. But um, <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Don't no cap. I stay on my job. Your boy be working too hard. I got dreams of living large. Buying houses in expensive cars.